हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर चैनल इजी शॉर्ट्स ऑफ लर्निंग टूडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट इश्यू ऑफ शेयर्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग एंड जनरल एंट्रीज ऑफ फोर फीचर ऑफ शेयर्स अलोंग विद एग्जांपल्स सो फ्रेंड्स इफ यू हैव नॉट यूर सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरी रिलेटेड टू दिस टॉपिक प्लीज राइट मी इन द कमेंट बॉक्स फर्स्ट वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ फोर फीचर ऑफ शेयर्स फोर फीचर मीन्स कैंसिलेशन ऑफ शेयर्स इफ एनी शेयर होल्डर does not pay any installment called by the company whether it is allotment first call or final call then after giving proper notice to that shareholder company has a right to cancel his shares and forfeited the amount which is paid by the shareholder for example here a shareholder does not pay allotment money first call and final call and after giving proper notice he does not pay then the company has a right to cancel his shares and forfeited the amount of application money so when the company do forfeiture entries then the company have three cases first is when the shares are issued at par it means if the face value of share is rupees 100 and the issued price is also rupees 100 then how we do the general entries of forfeiture of shares in second case if the face value is 100 and by adding 20 rupees as premium the issued price is 120 here when the shares are issued at premium and premium amount is not received by the company so in case when 20 rupees is not received by the company then how these shares are forfeited and in third case when the shares are issued at premium and premium amount is received here if the issued price is after including premium of rupees 30 the issued price is 130 and the shareholder pay along with application and allotment money the premium amount then how these shares are forfeited so we take one by one all the cases in our first case when the shares are issued at par so when the company issue shares then the share capital account is credited because it increases the capital of the company and increase in capital is always credited but when we cancel the shares or forfeited the shares then share capital account is debited with the called up amount now what do you mean by the that called up amount means for example if the final call is rupees 20 then the called up amount is and the company does not call the final call then the called up amount is rupees 80 otherwise if the company call all the installments then the called up amount in place of 80 rupees it is 100 so the share capital account is debited with the called up amount now first we credit that installment which is not paid by the shareholder here the shareholder does not pay allotment first call or final call so two share allotment two share first call and two share final call and the installment which is paid by the shareholder is transferred to share forfeiture account to share for future account here the shareholder only pay application money so share for future account is credited with application amount now we take one example a shareholder holding 1000 shares of rupees 100 each here the shareholder pay only application money of rupees 30 he does not pay 20 rupees as allotment first and final call of 20 25 rupees per share so first we have to cancel the shares and debit the share capital account with called up amount here the called up amount is rupees 100 per share so share capital account is debited with 1000 shares of rupees 100 1 lakh rupees now we credit that installment which is not paid by the shareholder so here the shareholder does not pay allotment first call and final call so two share allotment 1000 shares at the rate of rupees 20 20000 to share first call 1000 shares at the rate of rupees 25 25000 to share final call 1000 shares at the rate of rupees 25 25000 and the amount which is paid by the shareholder is transferred to share for future so here shareholder pay only application money so 1000 shares at the rate of rupees 30 30000 is transferred to share for future account our next case where the shares are forfeited with where the shares are issued at premium and premium amount is not received by the company now premium is our profit 
एट द टाइम ऑफ इश्यू ऑफ शेयर सिक्योरिटी प्रीमियम इज क्रेडिटेड बट वेन द शेयर आर कैंसिल्ड एंड द प्रीमियम अमाउंट इज नॉट पेड बाय द शेयर होल्डर देन सिक्योरिटी सिक्योरिटी प्रीमियम अकाउंट इज अगेन डेबिटेड सो वी डेबिट द शेयर कैपिटल इन केस ऑफ कैंसिलेशन ऑफ शेयर एंड डेबिट सिक्योरिटी प्रीमियम विच इज नॉट पेड बाय द शेयर होल्डर एंड क्रेडिट दैट इंस्टॉलमेंट विच इज नॉट पेड बाय द शेयर होल्डर सो हियर द शेयर होल्डर डज नॉट पे अलॉटमेंट फर्स्ट कॉल एंड फाइनल कॉल so two share allotment two share first call two share second and final call and that installment which is paid by the shareholder is transferred to share forfeiture account to share forfeiture account now here a shareholder holding 1000 shares at the rate of rupees 100 plus 10 rupees as premium the shareholder pay only application money of rupees 30 he does not pay Thirty rupees, including premium, as allotment. First call and final call of rupees twenty-five. Now, first we have to cancel the shares and debit the share capital account with rupees hundred. That is the called-up amount, one thousand shares at the rate of rupees hundred, one lakh. And security premium is also not paid by the shareholder at the rate of rupees ten per share. So, security premium account is also debited. With one thousand shares at the rate of rupees ten, sorry, at the rate of rupees ten, that is ten thousand. So the total due amount is one lakh ten thousand. Here the shareholder does not pay any instalment other than share application. So two share allotment, one thousand shares at the rate of rupees thirty, including premium thirty thousand. Two share first call, one thousand shares at the rate of rupees twenty five twenty five thousand. to share final call 1000 shares at the rate of rupees 25 25000 and the installment which is paid by the shareholder is transferred to share forfeiture so the balancing amount is 30000 which is transferred to share forfeiture account in our next case where shares are issued at premium but here premium amount is received by the company from the shareholder so we do general entries because premium amount is transferred to security premium reserve account under reserves and surplus in balance sheet liability side so we will not consider security premium when we do general entries of forfeiture of shares so we debit the share capital with the called up amount and credit that installment which is not paid by the shareholder here the shareholder does not pay any installment other than share application so to share allotment to share first call to share second and final call and the installment which is paid is transferred to share forfeiture account now here the example is a shareholder holding 1000 shares of rupees 100 each and the premium amount is rupees 10 per share but the company received 40 rupees from the shareholder so the company first adjust application money of rupees 30 and now 10 rupees not from share allotment but as a security premium because company first receive profit then adjust the installments so this 10 rupees is adjusted with security premium so when we do general entries because the shareholder does not pay any installment that is allotment money first call or final call he pay only application and 10 rupees as security premium so this 10 rupees is transfer to security premium account so we not considered when we do general entries we only consider first we consider the share capital account because when we cancel shares share capital account is debited with the called up amount 1000 shares of rupees 100 each 1 lakh and the installment which is not paid by the shareholder first we credit and the balance amount is transferred to share forfeiture account which is paid by the shareholder so two share allotment 1000 shares of rupees 20 each 20000 for two share first call 1000 shares at the rate of rupees 25 25000 two share final call 1000 shares at the rate of rupees 25 25000 and two share forfeiture account the balance amount that is 30000 now these are the cases where we do general entries of forfeiture of shares now in our next part we reissue these forfeited shares because the company has a right to reissue these shares to another person and the company may issue these forfeited shares at par at premium 
or at discount. If the company reissue at par, it means they reissue at rupees hundred premium by adding premium amount of rupees twenty each. That is one twenty rupees per share. And if the company reissue at discount, for example, at rupees ninety per share. Now, when we do general entry of reissue of shares, bank account is debited in case of when the shares are reissue at par. and share capital account is credited because increase in capital is credited so our entry is bank account debit to share capital account with rupees 100 in next case when the shares are reissued at premium the company receives 120 rupees so bank account is debited with 120 and security premium is our profit so share to share capital account with rupees 100 and Twenty rupees is transferred to security premium account. In our third case, when the company reissues shares at discount, now this ten rupees discount amount because discount is our loss, and this loss is adjusted with share for future balance. So, bank, uh, sorry, company receive ninety rupees. So, bank account is debited with ninety. Ten rupees is adjusted with uh, share for future balance. so the total 100 rupees amount per share is transferred to share capital so this is how we do general entries of reissue of forfeited shares now our last entry where the share forfeiture balance is transferred to capital reserve when we do forfeiture entry then share forfeiture account is credited when we transfer the amount then share forfeiture account is debited and capital reserve account is credited now we take one example where we do forfeiture and reissue of entries so here we take all the cases when the forfeited shares are reissue at par at premium and at discount so here a shareholder holding 200 shares at the rate of rupees 100 each forfeited for non payment of final call shareholder does not pay the last installment that is the final call of rupees 20 per share so first we cancel the shares number of shares are 200 at the rate of rupees 100 because called up amount is 100 per share so to uh, sorry share capital account is debited with 20000 now shareholder does not pay final call and final call amount is rupees 20 per share so 200 shares at the rate of rupees 20 to share final call with 4000 and the amount which is paid by the shareholder is forfeited by the company and the amount is transferred to share forfeiture account Two share for future two hundred into eighty rupees, which is paid by the shareholder sixteen thousand. Now these two hundred shares are if they are reissued at par, it means they are reissued at rupees hundred. So our entry is number of shares are two hundred at the rate of rupees hundred. So the company received twenty thousand, and our entry is bank account is debited and share capital account is credited with twenty thousand. Now here. we does not use share for future amount so the whole amount is transferred to capital reserve so our last entry is share for future account debit to capital reserve with 16000 in our next case if these forfeited shares are reissue at premium and the premium amount is rupees 10 so the company receive on 200 shares at the rate of rupees 110 that is 22000 so our entry is Bank account is debited with twenty two thousand two hundred into hundred is transferred to share capital because this is the nominal this is the face value per share so to share capital account twenty thousand and premium is our profit and all the profits are credited so to security premium two thousand rupees now here also we does not disturb or use the balance in the share for future account so our entry is. share for future account debit to capital is of 16000 in our last case where we reissue the forfeited shares at the rate of rupees 90 so our loss is 10 rupees which is adjusted with share for future account so we use uh, share for future sorry we use the balance of share for future account in share for future we have a balance of 16000 Number of shares are two hundred and discount is rupees ten per share. So we use two thousand from uh, share for future account and the balancing amount is fourteen thousand. 
so our entry for forfeiture uh, reissue of shares is bank account is debited with 18000 the balance 2000 is used from share forfeiture account share forfeiture account is debited with 2000 to share capital 20000 now the balancing value that is the 14000 is transferred to capital reserve so share forfeiture account debit to capital reserve with 14000 so friends in this video first we understand the meaning and general entries of forfeiture of shares and in our next part of the video where these forfeited forfeited shares are reissued at par premium and discount so friends if you like this video please share this video and subscribe the channel thank you so much have a nice day